Now to the opioid crisis. Mobile law enforcement is cracking down on drug trafficking of opioids, heroin, and fentanyl. Yesterday, we told you 42 people were indicted and being taken off our streets for distributing illegal drugs. Today, NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson talked with families who suffered losses at the hands of dealers just like those. Kim, one family tells me seeing law enforcement take down such a large number of dealers provides hope. I don't want this to happen to another mother. November 30th, 2017 is a day that forever changed the lives of Becky and Mike Bailey. Their only son, Brandon, overdosed, they say, on opioids. We'll never have grandchildren. Never will. And that's something that was taken away from me and her. For years, they have been pushing the justice system to catch those responsible and fighting to bring awareness to this disease that's plaguing communities, even right here in Mobile. Our community has one of the highest rates of drug use and overdose. A lot of it has to do with we're on a drug, we're on the intersection of a drug trafficking corridor. Today, U.S. Attorney Richard Moore pointed out getting drugs off the street isn't the only problem. Addictions, he says, are also starting because some doctors are overprescribing pain medication. My son was written prescriptions by the doctors. There's two doctors here in town, I won't name them, but he got hooked on them. For years, Mobile Police, the Sheriff's Office, FBI, and other agencies have been working to crack down on illegal distribution. Yesterday, 42 people were indicted in a major drug ring. Mobile Public Safety Director James Barber says it feels good to get those dealers off the street, but they aren't stopping there. We are coming for them and that they will be held accountable. For Becky and Mike Bailey, the pain of losing their son will always be there. And they have this message for those still dealing drugs. If you have children of your own, please look at them and see if it, what would you do if you didn't have those children. Barber says the penalty for dealing illegal drugs is a minimum of 10 years in prison without parole. 20 years if someone dies from overdosing on drugs from a dealer. Kim.